Welcome to Beaded Doilies by Shell. In this video, I'm going to be continuing my faceted bead art pattern ready for winter. Um, here again are the supplies that you will need. Um, I've decided to use five feet of string per video, uh, as I found the three feet made a slightly shorter video than I wanted. So we're going to try the five feet. I already have the pattern set up. If you remember, we finished or finished, we're working on row six and we just have the last three beads to add. So, what we want to do is take our new string either side and we want to slip it through the last bead where we tied our knot, which is the bead right on the end. Then we'll bring our two ends together and pull the string so they're even. Now we want to add the last three beads of row six which you want to keep your finished rows to the right and you're going to need your right string. And you're going to add two crystals to it and then you will take both strings and you will cross with a crystal and have this on the side so we want to take the string that's coming out and away from our finished row and we'll pull this so that row seven is now showing and we want a crystal and we're now entering the foot so we need a ruby I mean a root beer and then we need two more crystal let them come down we go through that first bead we added going in the same direction And there is the beginning of row seven. Now you'll want to make sure your strings are even because they'll get a little um, uneven at this point because you haven't beaded on enough beads yet to hold them in place. Right, and then for our next, we need a ruby. I I keep calling it ruby. It's a root beer and we want to cross with a crystal bring your strings together slide your beat down then take your right string and connect then you will add This time we want two light blue, so we'll add a light blue onto the left string, remember, and then we will cross a second light blue, bring that down, and we'll connect with the right string. Now we need to jet. I'll add one jet to the left string and then we will cross. Bring them down. Connect. And we need to jet again. And then we finish off our row with crystal. So we'll add a crystal to the left, cross, 
bring down and connect. And we just keep repeating that. And actually, if you would like, at this point, we will compare our peaks. You compare what you have to what I have, and I will compare what I have to what the pattern is, just to make sure before we go any further that we are where we want to be, and everything matches up. So we will finish off this row. always a good idea to check once in a while because occasionally uh, you might get mixed up as to which row you're actually on and you can add a wrong color in a spot and then that can make your finished piece not look as good as um, it should. Do remember one lady did one of my patterns and um, it looked really good but I could tell there was something off and I had a feeling that when she did one of the rows she actually went the opposite direction from where she um, the pattern had done so instead of going she was supposed to be going up she had gone down and so that row had been beaded in backwards so the piece looked good, but you could tell there was something a little off on it. So you always want to check every so often just to make sure that you haven't made any slight little mistakes. Alright, now we've come to the last three beads of this row. So we want the right string. We are going to add two crystals to it. And then we'll take both strings and we will cross with a third crystal. Now one easy way to know when you're finishing off a row with one color that you've come to the end is when you've run out of connect beads. Um, especially if it's a square pattern for the faceted bead art. If it happens to be a different shape and it's faceted bead art, then there you would have to keep track. But for um, the square patterns, when you run out of connect beads, you know you're at the very last um, three beads for, for the lar rows that get larger. Now on this side, it'll be slightly different because the rows get smaller, so you do that slightly different. But on this side, as they get larger, you'll run out of connect beads when you're ready to add your last three beads. Now this next row, row eight, begins with all crystals. So we want to add four crystal beads onto the string that's coming away from our finished work. Bring 
both of our strings together. And remember, it's good to keep your work tight. Um, some people who have started faceted bead art had noticed that their work tend to, um, well, crinkle, sort of. It would, like, do this, you know, where it would just bend, not lay flat. And um, over time, I realized that the reason mine always laid flat is I just had a tendency to always, like, pull it tight. Um, so I told them this, and when they did their next piece, it turned out flat. So that helped me to realize that um, one important thing you want to do when working, I think it's mostly with the monofilament fishing line, is to keep your work tight. Alright, let's see how many uh, crystals we need. All right, we are in row eight. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We want nine center crystals before we begin a color. So we have four currently. So we will continue with the crystal. Let's see how many, two, four, six, eight, one more set of crystal. All right, now our next two beads will be both jet. Actually, the next three sets will be jet, so... One set. and one more set of all jet now our next two will be light blue Now we are going to add a light blue and cross a root beer. Add light blue and cross root beer. This next set is going to be all root beer. Right. Now 
now we want the right string as we have come to the end of our row and we want three root beers so we want to add two one two and we want to cross the third one Now we'll move our paper so we can see row number nine. Row number nine will start with all root beer, so we want the string that's coming away from our finished row. And we want four root beer. One, two, three, four. We find the first one, go through it in the same direction as we went through it the first time. Oops, I think I got my other string inside. Alright, there we go. Bring our two strings together. Pull our work tight. Here you kind of have to do the two strings separately because the um, right one has those four beads on it that the left one does not have connection with. Alright, now we have our first four beads on and our next two will be root beer. So we will add the first one to the left and we will cross the second one with both strings. And then we will connect. In the next one we will add root beer and cross with a light blue. cross or add a light blue and cross with a light blue. And we're going to add a light blue and cross with a jet. sets that will be all jet. That's one. and three. Now the rest of this row will be all crystal so at this point we will do another pattern check. You can check your piece to my piece and I will check my piece to the pattern to make sure that we are indeed in the correct place with the correct colors. Okay, mine looks good. I hope yours does also. Now we will finish off this row with the crystal.
going through the last connecting bead. So that means this will be our last set of crystal before we do the end. All right, now we want our right string. We will add two beads and then we will cross a third. Now we want the string that is going away from our finished row. We have it look this way or this way depending on how you tie it. But you want the string that's coming away from your finished row. And we're, let's see, move our pattern and our row begins with all crystal. So we will add four crystal to our string. And we'll find the first one and go through it again in the same direction as you originally went through it. Bring our two ends together. Make sure our work is tight. And we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten center white beads before we begin any other color. So we will add a crystal. and cross with a crystal. Then we'll connect and we'll repeat that until we have 10 center crystal beads. And this includes the um, tip bead at the end. When you go to count you want to make sure to include it because it's also a center bead. Take a quick count, see where we're at. Now remember we're counting the center beads here, including the tip one. So we have two, four, six, eight. So we need two more sets. That should give us 10. We will count again. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yes, it does. So we are now ready to begin color. And we are going to start with four sets of all jet.
can check that we have four by counting these center beads also. So we have two, four. So we have our four sets of all jet. Now we need two sets of light blue. That's one. Right now we need a light blue, add a light blue, and then we're going to cross with a root beer. tie off with the next one I think. This one side is getting quite short. So the next we need is a crystal and a root beer. Put them both on the same string because we're going to be tying off. So you add both of them to your left string. Now we will do our knot, a regular knot, followed by double overhand knot. It's where you go over twice. Remember don't pull tight yet, just bring it down. Now we'll slip our string into that last bead we added and we'll slip our knot inside and now we'll pull tight. Okay, and then we will thread back through for at least two center beads. So you go each side and then you cross the center bead. And then do each side. And cross the center bead. That just helps to secure your knot a little better. And then cut off the excess. There we have our nice little penguin started. And we'll see you in the next video.